We are here at the Nairobi National Park. Today we'll be visiting the Nairobi Safari Walk. Yeah, you know. So come with us as we take a walk. That's Rachel Melima vlogging. We'll proceed straight ahead to the billing counter. And then from there, we'll take you through yeah so come with me so for the game drive you proceed straight ahead for the safari walk you turn right so here we have the gorilla there's a restaurant over there there are toilets and we shall be heading straight at the Nairobi Safari Walk. I'm back again yeah. because I felt like the last time yeah, I didn't really capture the moments. So I'm here with Rachel and John, our tour guide, and he'll be taking us around the space. Yeah, it's the love of animals and nature, guys. Don't blame me, don't blame me. Yeah, so come along. So in Nairobi Safari Walk, we have three ecosystems. That's the wetland, that's the area covered by water. Yeah. And where we have animals like the hippos, and fish, and the tilapia we have here. And tilapia? The mosquito fish, yeah. Ah, tilapia. nice. Okay. So the other ecosystem is the savanna. Mm -hmm. The savanna is where we have animals like the buffaloes, ostriches, mm -hmm. zebras. That's where we find them. The ecosystem is covered by grass. That's yeah. where we have the grassland. Oh, grassland. Water, yeah. okay. ah. The hippo so, stays here? Yeah. Where is it? So I think it's out there because it's being constructed. Ah. So, uh, the big hippo yeah. is said to be a mere dwarf as compared to the big one. Those uh, big ones are the night hippos. Ah. Uh, so this big hippo spend most of time on the ground. Okay. It takes just three years to go sexually. Mm, the yeah. pygmy hippo. Okay. Like gestation period, mm -hmm. there are six to seven months. This is the pygmy hippo, yeah. right? Ah, nice. It's dwarfish. Yeah, it's dwarf. It's ah. to the other hippo. Okay, it's fine. You can proceed. We also have over 130 species of trees. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have this one, we call it yellowback acacia. Yellowback acacia? Yellowback acacia. Yellowback acacia. All right. Yeah. Uh -huh. This one is a phoenix palm. Phoenix palm? Yeah. Phoenix palm. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah, it looks like a palm. Yeah. Yeah. Palm this tree. One is a wild magnolia. Wild magnolia? Yeah. Okay. This is the world magnolia. Oh, nice. Uh -huh. okay. So, this is the pygmy hippo. Ah, 
Seriously. <laughs> so it does not move? <laughs> it moves but very little. <laughs> Thanks. Reverting reptiles. Reverting reptiles. Ooh. It's so big. Yeah. Yeah. Here's so the Nile crocodile. This one is a male. To differentiate between a male and a female, you uh -huh. just check on the tail. Uh -huh. okay. uh, for the male, the tail is quite larger. But for the female, the tail is short and thick. Short and thick. Ah. The tail is short and thick. Baboons are very aggressive. Like the olive baboon, we have them, but for now they are free because uh. of the climate change. Okay. Mm -hmm. They are not around there. They have dispersed to look for food, uh. but they will be back by three. That's the time they start coming back. <laughs> Which baboon? We have the olive baboon, <laughs> the six monkeys, and the vase monkeys. So they're not around? Yeah. yeah, they're usually around this route. If you walk around here, there are usually many <laughs> baboons. <laughs> so, They've gone to look for food right now. Yeah. They are very aggressive when they find the women with bags, you they just them. harass them, look in your bag, they just take your bag and check in. If there is no food, they just throw your bag away. Ah, and and what food, about my phone? Ah, they just, they don't take phone, they, they just look for food. Ah, the... Ima, sir? Yeah. I said you are my talk about. Jonah is attack. Jonah is Ah. Where? This is where giraffes spend the night. Where are they now? They've gone. Ah. Okay. So the animals here, like the ostrich, rhinos, ah. uh, zebras, and buffalo, they don't spend the night out. The really? Being, uh. We have some leopards from the park. Ah. Okay. The animals from the park. Ah, what a point. Can we see the ostrich first? Okay. Before it disappears. So, beyond that side is the park. Ah. The National Park. Hmm. Here we have a leopard. Mm hmm. It's always posing on the top of the tree. Where is it? Hey, it's usually there. <laughs> ah, where is it? Huh? No, I can't see. I think I can. Huh? Where? The ostrich, they are the only non flying birds. Mm. Big birds that do not fly. Defensive mechanism. They use the so they coexist. All these animals can coexist together. The elite zebras has got its own stripes. They are not the same. Uh -huh. they, are, they, are like, they are like our fingerprints. Each zebra has its own stripes. Can you call those ostriches nearer? Yeah, 
you can't come. So the black one is a male and the greyish one is a female. Mm. These are Maasai ostrich. Maasai mm. ostrich. Yeah. You will feed one on one. Okay. Nice. One on one. Let's go. Okay. Here are the pellets for the giraffe. Oh, Morgan, okay. please don't hide because <laughs> we are coming. <laughs> yeah. Morgan the giraffe, please. We are going in search for no hiding. Morgan the giraffe. So no hiding, Morgan. Who is it? Ah, Morgan. Morgan! We found you! Do you not run away? Here is Morgan, the giraffe, Mr. Tall Guy. Is it a man or a lady? Ah, here is the tall Morgan. Ah, ah, don't come for me. Don't come for me. Don't come for me. He's so tall. But which one is the caribou? Aki, he wants to feed. Morgan wants to feed, man. And our pellets are over. What to do now? <laughs> what to do now, Morgan? Where is your brother? Where is your brother? She's going. Hi, hi, Morgan. Where is it going? It was. She's hungry. Rhino move today. Well, this is the white rhino. Gani does not want to get it. Zote. Eh? So actually, the Nairobi National Park mm -hmm. is a rhino sanctuary. All right. Yeah. It's a Nairo rhino sanctuary. Yeah. How many rhinos do you have? We have not many. I don't know the exact number, mm. but they are all marked. How, we, ah. They are territorial. The rangers know where each is. rhino is. So if it's not seen by an hour, just find it where it is. Ah, this is the, the poachers kill it for this horn. For the horn, they say it has some medicinal substances. Ah, yeah. We differentiate between a white rhino and a black rhino because in Kenya we have the white rhino and the black rhino. Mm. For the black rhino, the mm. horns are almost the same size. Ah. But for the white rhino, the horn one is bigger. Ah. And also, the white rhinos are grazers. They feed on grass. They are mostly they are found on areas with the grass, like the savanna. Mm. Monkeys are being fed, guys. Guys. Oh, they eat a balanced diet, man. Look at the monkeys feeding. We came right at lunchtime. Ooh. Ooh. There's the hippo. Ah, big, big. Hippo. Big, big hippo. Bob. Is this the one that was lying? Yeah. <laughs> it's truly, it's truly a dwarf.
illegal activities. Here we have accessories. Python skin. This is a Python skin. Yeah. Mm. Mm. These ones, they are the leather coils of porcupine. The Masai Moran used them. Yeah. Okay. So these are the teeth for the Nile hippo, the big what? ones. They are so huge. Mm. The tooth for the Nile hippo. Mm. These are ostrich eggs. They are ostrich eggs <laughs> and crocodile eggs there. Crocodile eggs, ostrich eggs. Mm. All right. So then this one, this is for the eland. Eland, yeah. yeah. I saw it in the game drive. Yeah, Eland. the largest antelope we have. Eland, mm -hmm. the largest antelope. That one for the greater kudu. Okay. Yeah, this one, Thompson gazelle. Thompson gazelle. Water bug. Water bug. Impala. Impala. And at the top there, that's for the grand gazelle. Mm -hmm. Grand gazelle. The other one for the wild beast. Which one? This one. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, that's the look alike is the heart beast. Heart beast, yeah, yeah. I remember. The other one is the, the heart beast. The lone, beast. The lone antelope. Lone antelope, yeah, yeah. I, I think I saw it. Mm -hmm. This one? So, this is the rhino. Ah, it's yeah. huge. Yeah. yeah. These are the teeth? Yeah. And that's their that's food? Their food for the buffalo. Ooh. Mm. These are for sales for the. Zebra. Some of the wild animals that are available. Nice. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, ostrich feathers and the flamingo feathers. Oh, ostrich feathers. The other one is coral leaf, fold deep in the snow. Here you have the butterflies. butterflies. Up here, those are the butterflies. Mm -hmm. Down, the moths. Mm, yeah. Butterflies. So, python skin also. Ah, the python skin. And this is the shell. Mm -hmm. Shell for the turtle. Ah, turtle yeah. shell yeah. is over there. Yeah. Okay. So these ones, they are taken through a process called taxidermy. Taxidermy? Yeah. Taxidermy, we dry them up. Mm -hmm. Then we take off the insides of this. Yeah. And we place some timbers to give them strength. Ah. That's nice. So the lion. It is huge. <gasps> this guys is the elephant foot. Look, it's like a stool. <laughs> oh, that's huge. You said this is the skull of a lion. Yeah. Ah. It is so massive. What? That's massive, man. If that thing steps on you, you're dead. <laughs> Buffalo. This is the female one. It just has no the shelving that Open it, which is about to head there. Then here we have the so birds. This is a wild dog. Ah, wild dog. It's kind of a wild dog. dog. Wow. Ooh. So much to learn. Okay, I think we are good. Buffalo. Yeah, Male buffalo. buffalo. Yeah. Oh, the female is the one that has a huge gap. Yeah. Okay. Hey guys, so that marks the end of our safari walk. We were so happy, <laughs> so happy. We were so lucky to find some of the animals feeding, like the Columbus monkey and also the, um, the hippo, the pygmy hippo. It was such a good sight to behold. So, as you know, guys, I'm an animal lover, nature lover. So, I'm always looking for, you know, adventurous kind of sightseeing activities so right now we are heading to the annual orphanage I feel like I need to get a hold of the leopards in close proximity and yeah so make sure to come here